Hello, good day, this is Andrew, and now I'm going to teach you the De Morgan's theorem. I create a separate video for this De Morgan's theorem because I want to make a detailed presentation about De Morgan. What is De Morgan's theorem? It is the most important law in digital logic circuit. It is the method of transforming a logical expression without changing the result. By the way, this video is the continuation of the video that I made before, the Boolean algebra. How to use the Morgan's theorem? First step, take the complement of all the variable. Complement means is the opposite of the variable. An example is, the complement of A is A bar, or simply the complement is the negation of a variable. Step 2. Replace all OR logic to END logic. Replace all END logic to OR logic. It means you just need to interchange OR and END logic here. Step 3. Negate the entire expression. Example 1. A B bar C plus A bar B C. Let's take the De Morgan's transformation for this expression. First step, take the complement of all the variable. As you can see here, A becomes A bar, B bar becomes B, C becomes C bar, A bar becomes A, B becomes B bar, and C becomes C bar. Next step, replace all OR logic to AND logic. Replace all AND logic to OR logic. As you can see here, the AND logic here is replaced by OR logic, and the OR logic here is replaced by AND logic. And the last step, negate the entire expression. And as the De Morgan's theorem says, this two equation is equivalent. You can use a truth table to prove that these two equations are the same. But according to the De Morgan's theorem, this equation and this equation are the same. Let's go to example 2. A plus B, C bar plus A bar B. The first step, let's take the complement. Second step, interchange OR and END logic. And the last step, negate the entire expression. And this will be the final answer. Importance of using the Morgan's theorem. Simplify the expression A bar plus B bar plus C bar times A bar plus B plus C bar equals X. This is an example that I used in my previous video, the Boolean algebra, the final example at that video. When we're going to solve this expression using the distributive law only without using the De Morgan's theorem, we might come up with a longer solution. Because as you can see here, we're going to distribute this A bar to the entire equation and the C bar also. And that would be a very long equation which is prone for mistake. Next, we're going to use the De Morgan's theorem. First is we need to use the double negative, then applying the De Morgan's theorem, distributive law, complementary law, law of intersection, then De Morgan's theorem. As you can see here, when you're going to compare the solution to the solution that I showed you before, this one is shorter. 
it means the De Morgan's theorem is a very important theorem in the digital logic circuit. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Please like my Facebook page and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.